Hi everybody, welcome back to art. This week we're doing endangered species and today we're going to be making a sea otter. And you can see that the sea otter is movable and has a little baby floating on it. So, first of all, you're going to need your paper and the cup. It's about three and a half inches wide on the top and a little over two inches on the bottom. So any cup with two sides like this would work just great. We're gonna use the larger side for the head, but you can see, as you saw, I should say, but the head is oval. So we're gonna start with a circle and we're gonna turn it into an oval. So place your cup with the wide, wider part down on your paper, hold it in place, and with a pencil, you're going to draw around your cup like this. Then we're going to turn this into an oval by adding right at the top here, we're just gonna add the sides to make it look more like an oval, just like that. You don't have to erase this because when we color that is going to change. Now let's make the body, it's another oval. You want to make sure that you have space at the bottom for your tail so you can give yourself a guideline down here with your pencil. We're going to start at the neck and we're going to draw an oval down to our line. And the same thing on the other side. And there is the body of our sea otter. Now we're going to draw the arms. And you can see that these are going to bend later. So we're just going to put them right out to the side for now. And there's the paw right there. Sea otters have fur that is water repellent, so it makes them easier to float and keeps them warm. And the tail right down here, this helps them steer when they're swimming, makes them better swimmers. And of course they have webbed feet to make them easier for them to swim in the ocean. All right, and we have a couple of little ears right on the side. They're very small, like this, okay? Now that we have our drawing of our sea otter, I'm going to be using a Sharpie to outline it. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a crayon or you can use a marker if you have that. The reason I'm using a Sharpie is so that when I color, it won't blend in or smear into my color. So if you're gonna use regular marker, you should be careful with that. I'm gonna use a wavy line, but we are gonna to have to cut these out. So if making a wavy line is too difficult for you to make it look like there's fur, you can use a smooth line and that's just fine. And we're gonna add those ears. We're just gonna be drawing over our pencil outline. There we go. And there are our paws. And our webbed feet. Did you know that sea otters can actually fall asleep in the water? They can. You do not have to outlined this circle here. You can see I left it blank. That's going to be covered with the fur that we do later. But let's make that triangular nose. It's right in the middle. I'm going to put it down just a teeny bit like this for the nostrils. And you can color that in with your black marker or crayon. And we're going to do two eyes. They don't have very large eyes. They're pretty small. And they're about even with the top of the nose and the ears. If you like to, you can leave a shine mark in there, just like that. 
And if you don't have a shine mark, it's still going to look just fine. There we go. And of course, we're going to make the snout. And we've made these before with the line down. And we're going to curve this way and this way. And sea otters have very large whiskers like this. Sea otters are endangered because people like to use their fur, their pelts, to make things because they're waterproof and they're very, very warm. So people like to do that. And um, they've done it so much that there just aren't as many sea otters out there anymore. But there's a lot of people trying to change that and bring that back. So hopefully that will be the case. You can see that some sea otters are gray and some sea otters are brown. So you can choose whatever color. If you want to have a blue otter or a rainbow colored otter, you can certainly do that. This is art so we can be just as creative as you want to. The way I made the fur around the edge is that I used a radial design, which means that it all points to the center. All of the lines point to the center, just like a sunshine. So you can see that I'm adding the fur and I'm covering those pencil lines. See how they're disappearing? All the way around. Everything is coming from the center. Make sure that your fur is thick enough, that um, close enough together and thick enough that it covers those lines. When we get to the chin, our fur lines can be shorter so we don't color into the mouth like this. You can even turn your paper if it makes it easier for you. All the way around like that. Going back over for any pencil lines I can see. And we're going to add a little bit of fur to the bridge of the nose. And that's going to look kind of like an explosion. So coming out from the nose, we have lines that are coming out in this direction. This looks like the 4th of July, doesn't it? And then you can add little lines around like this that are much further apart. It shows that that fur is kind of growing into the face a little bit. And of course the ears. Yes. And the, the way I did the fur, you can actually see the white in between to make it look like it has fur right there. It kind of looks like I'm scribbling, but I'm not. All of my lines are in the same direction. And I'm being very careful because the otter's fur is very important to keeping it warm and dry in the water. It's, uh, sea otters spend most of their time in the water. They eat in the water, they take naps in the water, they carry their babies in the water, and they teach their babies to um, swim very, very quickly because they spend so much time out there. And we're going to add some color to the arms here, showing that it's fur. And let's do the inside of the paws. We'll do that right over the top. You can actually do this first and color over the top. But this is one way to do it. If you don't have a Sharpie, then you don't have to worry about any smearing. I wonder what color your sea otter is going to be. When you get finished, it should be completely colored like this. Just like this. All the way from the tippy tippy top to the bottom, all of the feet. Okay. And we're going to make the baby now. I 
I suggest that you make your small otter on one side of your paper. You can see that I made a little pet starfish for it and also some waves on the water. So you can use this half of your paper to do that with. But let's start making our little otter. I'm gonna put him to the side right here so you can see him. And this time, instead of using the large side of your cup, we're going to use the small side. So put your cup right side up on your paper like that. Hold it down, get your pencil out, and draw all the way around. And I think you know how to do this. I'm gonna show you again. We're gonna turn it into an oval. It's not a very big bump. If you make too big of a bump, you can just make a smaller bump next to it. And when you cut it out, you just don't have to do that part all right there. It's just fine. Just to remind you, we also had a little bit of a line here when we want the body to end. And we're drawing an oval like this. And our paws, our tail, and our webbed feet. Let's get those ears on there. Once you've outlined and colored your otter, you can also make things that they eat. Now they don't eat starfish, but I thought a starfish would be a very good pet for my little baby sea otter to hold. So. A starfish is just a lot of these that are connected in the middle. They also like to eat crab. You can make yourself a little crab. This could also be a friend, not food, but you can do it just however you want. I'm making the legs like this so they're easier to cut out. They also like to eat clams. Clams are easy to make. You just make a triangle and a circle. And here are the lines. And of course, you're gonna color all these in and get out your scissors and you're gonna cut all of these things out. If you have a colored piece of paper, you can use the extra white paper to make waves. You can see that I cut waves out of this paper. If they're too long, you can cut them smaller and you can use your glue stick to glue them down on the water. Don't forget to turn your otter over and color the front of the paws. So I colored him gray and I gave him three toes like this. That way, when it's folded, you can see the top and the bottom. And there is our little sea otter floating on the ocean. You're welcome to glue all of these down in place. I actually like to have them free because I like to play with them. And here's this little pet starfish. I hope you enjoyed this project of endangered species. I love sea otters. I hope you do too. And now you have a cool art project to play with. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.